And without much ado, I'd like us to go straight into the session. And our presenter is called Segal. Segal Biazin holds an MSc in maternity health nursing and is currently working at Jima University as a lecturer and researcher since 2018. He has also previously served as a graduate assistant in Midway Free. He also holds a BSc in Midway Free from Debre Berhan University in Ethiopia. He has previously served as a clinical staff at Nigest Eleni Mohammed Memorial General Hospital, where he provided a maternity and child health interpartum and postnatal services. He has more than 15 published articles in internationally recognized journals and is a valued associate editor for the Pan-African Medical Journal, where he has served as a peer reviewer. In addition, he's a member of the Ethiopian Midwifery Association. Now, Sego is going to make a presentation on maternal knowledge of fatal movement among third trimester pregnant women, Jima Medical Center, Jima, Ethiopia, 2022. Okay, over to you, Sego. Welcome. Okay, thank you, uh, Mirun, as well as Caroline, for your priceless guidance through the times. As well as welcome all the IDM participants. This day uh, is special or unique days for us, especially for MEDEF backgrounds, because it, it enhances uh, MEDEF profession. After saying this, let, let me uh, present my studying uh, finding regard about maternal knowledge regarding the fatal movement among third trimester pregnant women at Jumma Medical Center, Ethiopia, in 2022. This uh, is about outline of uh, the presentation. It contains introduction part, statement of problems, significance, objectives, material material, result finding, discussion, conclusion, acknowledgement as the end. It has a uh, sample uh, reference. As introduction, globally, approximately 2 million stillbirths occur in uh, uh, occur. Of this, 84% occur in the low and middle income countries. Sub-Saharan uh, Sub Africa alone has a stillbirth rate of seven times when comparing to developing country in sub-Saharan country. Yeah, stillbirth rate is account 21.7%. In developing countries, it is account 3.1 per 1,000 uh, leave births. Ethiopia has a stillbirth rate of 24.6 per 1,000 live births. It, it, it shows us a great, a great and huge uh, numbers. As uh, introduction, excessive or decreased fetal movement are associated with intrauterine fetal deaths and stillbirths. Fetal movement as assessment occur when the uh, mother perceived uh, decreased fetal movement. Women who perceived poor or reduced Fetal movement require further monitoring, such as uh, contraction stress test, as well as biophysical profile uh, tests. This biophysical profile, as well as contraction stress tests, requires by uh, measured by or monitoring by aid of ultrasound. It contains around five components. The first one is assessment of fetal, assessment of fetal movement, assessment of fetal tones, assessment of status of amniotic fluid as well as uh, fetal breathing. So by combining those five components, the health provider judge whether the fetus is uh, well or uh, not during intrauterine fetal uh, life. The other uh, advanced technique, the, the other advanced fetal movement surveillance technique is modified biophysical profile. It is the newest recommendation by WHO. It contains two components. The first one is non-stress test, and the second one is uh, assessment of amenity fluid, whether it is adequate or not. By uh, combining those two components, the healthcare providers decide the status of uh, fetal well-being during intrauterine uh, life. This picture shows that the first picture shows that the fetal uh, count charts. It is a simple chart by screening by uh, mothers, pregnant mother, by aid of simple guidance. 
The second picture shows that biophysical uh, profile. As I said before, it contains five components. The first one is fetal breathing, amniotic fluid, uh, fetal tones, fetal movement, as well as uh, fetal uh, amniotic fluid. By combining those five components, healthcare profile uh, provide uh, decide the status of uh, fetal antenatal fetal surveillance. Most women are uh, first aware of their fetal movement within the 18 up to 20 weeks of pregnancy. However, it very depends on parity. For multi gravida or multi para women, fetal movement feels earlier than primi para. It's occurred during uh, between 16 up to 18 weeks of gestational age. For uh, uh, for multi for primi para feels they feel between 18 to 20 weeks, so the uh, women feel the baby movements very dependent on their uh, gravity or their parity. Fetal moment counting is one parameter of antenatal fetal surveillance. It has a vital role to pause or to tackle mortality rate due to stillbirth as well as uh, prenatal uh, days. Antenatal fetal surveillance is a method of monitoring fetal well-being during intrauterine lives. As I said before, it is easy to conduct because it's conducted by mother itself as well as visible. There is not uh, requires any aid or uh, doesn't require any advanced technology. As well as it is self, as well as it is self screening uh, meted by uh, pregnant mothers. Normal fetal moment counts as, as according to WHO definition, normal fetal moment count consider 10 per 12 hours. If she feels 10 fetal moment per 24 uh, per 12 hours, it is considered as efficacy well. Monitoring fetal moment has a positive significance to reduce stillbirth as well as bad obstetrics outcome. WHO recommended all healthy, pre healthy pregnant women should be made aware of the importance of fetal moment during third starting from third trimester and report if there is any uh, complication to nearest centers as well as for uh, their healthcare providers in order to get this further investigation and monitoring. The, pre the previous study conducted in United States, Canada, and India, Indonesia, Nigeria, and Egypt on maternal understanding of fetal moment was ranging from 10.3 to 52 percent. To our best knowledge, there is no study conducted in uh, our uh, country, Ethiopia, on maternal knowledge of fetal uh, movement. Beside of adequate knowledge about fetal movement monitoring, help in avoiding intrauterine uh, complication and also it determines the timely decision seeking intervention beyond monitoring fetal. Uh, well-being, it, 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 it has a great role to timely decision-seeking intervention. Therefore, the aim of this study to investigate maternal knowledge of fetal moment among certain pregnant women who attend MCH, that means maternal and child health service at Juma Medical Centers. Significant of study, well, the first significant of this study is give insight about maternal understanding or how it to understand antenatal fetal surveillance. The second significant of this study is to input or one of indicator of quality health care service, evidence for health care policy makers to uh, uh, determine the strategy and implementation, as well as it's significant for baseline for future researchers. It has a significant as a baseline for future researchers or educators. Uh, material materials, study setting, period design. The, the, the study was conducted at Jimma Medical Center. Jimma Town is far from 352 kilometers from the capital city of Ethiopia, Tisawa. Jimma Medical Center is one of the pioneer referral hospitals and serving southwestern part of the country. Institutional based cross social study was conducted from uh, June 1 to July 13, 2022. The study participant or uh, pregnant women who visit at Juma Medical Center was considered as a source population. Selected third trimester pregnant women who visit at Juma Medical Center during the study period where the 
uh, where the source, where the study population sample size determination by using single population pro proportion formula. By considering the following assumption, proportion uh, as assumed as 50% because there is no study conducted previously to, uh, regarding it of, uh, maternal knowledge uh, toward this development. So we take 15% as a proportion and the standard value of uh, level of confidence, 95% of confidence interval, 1.96, marginal rate 5% or 0.05. After considering the 10% non response rate, the final sample size was 422. Sampling technique, a systematic random sampling technique was used to select study participant. Eligibility criteria, volunteer preserved trimester pregnant women who visit at Jima Medical uh, Center during the data collection period were included in this study. Pregnant women who refused to participate in this study and those who were seriously in, ill and first trimester, uh, first trimester as well as second trimester pregnant women were exclu exclu excluded from uh, this study. Data collection tool and procedure. The structure questionnaire was adapted from previous conduct study on similar research topic. The questionnaire consists of three parts. The first one is about social demographical part. The second one is of statistics part. And the third uh, questionnaire part is about the knowledge part toward this fatal uh, movement. Data were obtained from each study participant through face-to-face -face interview. Data quality assurance, the questionnaire was first prepared in English and then translated to local language, that means Amharic and Japanese, and pretest was uh, conducted prior to actual data collection. Three BSC MEDEFs and one MS personnel was recruited as a data collection and uh, as a supervisor respectively. The two days training was provided for both data collectors as well as supervisor. The collected data was checked by for its completeness immediately after data collection. Data entry and analysis. The collected data were coded and entered into EP data version 3.1 and exported into SPSS version 25. Bivariate and multivariate variate logistic regression was performed to identify, identify, uh, ident, uh, to identify significant predictors or independent variables. In multivariate regression, predictor with p-value less than 0.05 were considered as statically significant. Finally, the study finding were narrated using the text, table, and figures. Ethical consideration, ethical letter was obtained from a research committee of School of Midwifery, Jima University. A permission letter was obtained from Jima Medical Center. Verbal informed consent was obtained from each participant. All information obtained from respondent was uh, used only for research purpose. A result, a result finding and discussion. Out of, uh, of 420 total expected study participant, only 400, uh, 403 respondents were involved in the study and uh, yield this 96% of respondent response rate. The majority of respondents, that means 189 respondents, were in the age group of 25 out to 31 years. More than 80% of participants had complete primary education. Around two thirds of participants, that means 282 respondents, were come from urban resident. Re regarding to marital status, more than two thirds of uh, participants were engaged or married. Of status factor, nearly two thirds of respondents, that means 262 respondents, have uh, have pregnant for more than two times, followed by a participant 100 respondent have first time were first time pregnant. 183 women were found between 28 up to 32 weeks of gestational age. The majority of respondents, that means 376 respondents, had history of uh, antenatal cares. More than three-fourths of respondents, that means 336 respondent participants, were categorized under low-risk pregnancy. The rest one categorized as high-risk pregnant, that means they have or they had previous, uh, maybe they have previous uh, obstetric complication like APH, PPH, or uh, any uh, uh, caesarean session history of CS. 
Nearly one third, that means 122 or 30.12 of respondents are good knowledge uh, regarding to their fatal moment counts. The rest, 17% of respondents had poor knowledge towards their fatal moment counts. This study revealed that out of 405 total study participants, 122 respondents had good knowledge of uh, fatal moment regarding the fatal amount counting. This study finding is a line with study conducted in Nigeria, revealed that 31.1% of respondents had good knowledge of decreased fatal movement. However, it is higher than a study conducted in Egypt, India, as well as uh, in India, in uh, other setting. Respondent post uh, a good knowledge of fatal uh, movement patterns. The discrepancy may be due to one, the variation in the study period, maybe uh, due to variation in study area, sample size, as well as healthcare, uh, healthcare policy, uh, uh, healthcare policy system. In contrast, uh, this study finding was lower than study conducted in Indonesia, to, uh, as well as in, Flor in Florida or United States, Canada, showed that 52.9%, 83%, and 47% of a woman had good knowledge of fatal woman counting, respectively. The discrepancy, uh, the, this discrepancy due to maybe a study participant, study setting, as well as sampling, uh, sample size variation. The multivariate logistic analysis shows that a predictor, including the residency, gestational age, pregnant status, that means complicated versus non-complicated, as well as healthcare provider, were significant associated with outcome variables, that means maternal knowledge toward this uh, fatal movement count. The current study report, uh, report respondents who were come from urban residents were more likely to have a good knowledge relative to uh, participants who came from uh, rural area. According to study findings, study participants from rural residents were 71% uh, 71 more, uh, more likely to have poor knowledge of fatal movement than respondents who came from uh, urban residents. This is uh, the, uh, this due to the fact that respondents who came from urban have a good uh, a good uh, health literacy and have better chance to get uh, health information from social media, internet, as well as nearest health facility. Moreover, study participants of 32 of 36 week of gestational age were 58 times more likely to have a good knowledge when comparing to respondent who have 28 of 32 gestational uh, age or uh, weeks of gestation. Respondent may uh, adapt the pattern of fetal movement through pregnancy and not recognize a variation. So um, a respondent who have uh, gestational age of 32 of 36 may have more likely to have experience regarding to their fatal movement pattern. Uh, women in the high risk pregnancy group were more likely to have good knowledge about fatal movement counting when comparing to uh, women who low risk or uh, non complicated. Women who had complicated cases were five times more likely to have good knowledge than non complicated mother. This variation is due to most of the time. High risk, high risk pregnant women have a chance to go, uh, get close intervention or inpatient care during hospital stay. The healthcare provider alerts them about fatal mount counting through provide key count charters. Furthermore, the, uh, the present study revealed that pregnant women who received healthcare information from MDA had two times more likely to have a good knowledge of fatal movement than got from other healthcare providers. This due to uh, uh, the fact that the provision of maternal and child service through medieval lead continuity of care has a good health seeking behavior and health literacy and maternal and neonatal outcomes. As a conclusion, this study uh, finding reveals that maternal knowledge of fetal movement count was inadequate. It is account 13%, so it is below uh, 15%, so it is inadequate when comparing to uh, the previous study. 
So the respondent residence, residency pregnancy status, whether it is complicated or uncomplicated, gestational age, as well as healthcare, pro, uh, healthcare givers have a significant associated predictor with maternal knowledge of fetal movement pattern. So the healthcare provider and healthcare policy makers have to enhance maternal knowledge of fetal movement, counting through midwifery continuity of care. So this is all about the conclusion part. As, uh, as acknowledgement, the author would like to thank to Jumma Medica, Jumma University, Jumma Medical Center for approval and permission to carry out or to conduct this study. And also our thank is extended to study participants, supervisors, as well as data collector for their uh, contribution in this study. This is a sample reference that I have used during uh, slide preparation. Thanks for your uh, attention. Thank you very much, Sego. We really uh, appreciate. Thank you for um, your well-presented uh, presentation. Um, I have a few minutes just to ask some questions. I don't know whether we have any questions. We can receive one or two questions before we proceed on to the next um, session. Um, if you have any questions, you can probably raise up your hand or type the question in the public chat. There's a question in the chat box. I don't know whether you're able to see it, but it reads, did the women know where to go if they noticed reduced movements? That's a question from Margaret Jowitt. Yeah, uh, Sego, you can nice. answer that. Yeah, I have seen it. It is a great question, nice question. Did the woman knowledge, uh, know where to go if they notice a reduced uh, fetal movement? So the prefer the preferable side for if they uh, perceived a decreased fetal movement or excess fetal movement, they should be seek uh, intervention, uh, further intervention or monitoring uh, by uh, going to a nearest health facility, nearest health facility, whether it's a center or hospital. Okay, thank you, Karen, as well as.